Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in today's video, I will show you how to visualize data from Arwin to Mapbox. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to get this walkability analysis data in Arwin, which I will put the link of that video in the description box below. And now I will try to visualize this data sets onto Mapbox. To visualize your data sets in Mapbox, you need a geometry attribute. So if I click on my output walkability data sets here, I can see that it has geometry attributes. So it means I can visualize my data sets onto Mapbox. So whenever you want to visualize your data sets in Arwin, make sure that you select a geometry attribute before you go to Mapbox and visualize them. So the first step here, I will click on this little icon here and then I will go to download the file as shapefile. So this shapefile is supported by Mapbox. So you, if you want to visualize your data sets, you can either download that as shapefile or download that as JSON file. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reselect these area selections and I'm going to generate a population data into the greater Melbourne area. So to do that, I'm going to go to area selections, select back the Victoria, and then go to greater capital city statistical area, 2016. Oh, I will have to um, refresh the page and then go back here, refine the area, select the greater capital city statistical area, and then here, I select Greater Melbourne. So after I reselect the area selections here, I can go back to Browse. And in the keywords here, I can type in Estimated Resident Population. And then click Search. Here, I will go to Victoria in future 2016 and I will select ERP by household dwellings. So this data sets will, will show me the estimated resident population by number of households and number of dwellings for the state of Victoria. So the first step here in the attributes go to year and then you need to add the value of what the year you want the data sets to be. So here I will select 2021 and then I will select the estimated resident populations as the data. And then I will also make sure to select the geometry attributes to visualize that to Mapbox. So here I will click Add. So the data set is now um, successfully um, added to my um, map here. And then if you want to check what these data sets might look like in your map, you can go here and then you can um, select display on map and then click update and display. So after you display your, your data sets onto the map, you will see that this is the data that you have. So after that, if you are happy with the data that might be um, displayed on your map, you can go to this little icon here and then again I will download a shapefile. So after I have the walkability data sets as shapefile and after I have the population data as shapefile as well, now I can go to Mapbox. Here, the first step here is if you don't have an account in Mapbox, you can um, create an account. And then after that, you can then go to Mapbox Studio. So the first step here, I can go to Tile Sets. And then I can click on New Tile Set. And then I will upload the uh, data that I have downloaded in Arwin. So the shape file, you don't have to um, extract the zip file, you can just um, upload the zip file onto your, your, your map box. Yeah, and then I will also add the population um, data and then click confirm. 
So after after that, while well, we are waiting for it to be uploaded into the Mapbox as a new tileset, I can go back to styles, and then I can create a new style. Here you can you can select whichever um, template you want for your customized map, and in this case, I will select a blank canvas because I want to build my map from zero. So I will click customize blank. So here I have my blank canvas and now I can start to build my map. So to do that, I can first, I want to add a water um, component into my map to relocate myself on where I am right now on the map. So to do that, I can click add new layers and then here I can go to Mapbox Street V8. This is um this is the data sets from Mapbox itself, and you can choose whichever you want um to be put on your custom map. And here I want to choose water. And if I go back to style, now I can see where I am on the map. So I'm already in Australia, and I want and I can change the color of the water to light gray so that it is not so distracting on my map. The next thing is uh, um, I again create a new layer and then I'm going to start to adding um, my uh, shape file data sets onto my map box. So the first here is I want to visualize the workability so I can go here and I can look for the same file here. So if I click on here, it will show me the workability that I have downloaded from Arvin. So here, if you go to type, you can select whichever type you want for your data to be visualized. So here it's a field type, which is basically just put colors in your data sets. And then also you can ch change it into field extrusion, which is here in this type you can you can put hate value on your data based on the value that you have in your data sets or you can change that um, to line or you can change that into civil and maybe hate map it depends on what you want um, to be visualized on your map again this map box is like a photoshop so it's it depends on whatever you want to be put on your map and how you want to visualize that. You can also um, edit the colors and whatever it is that you want in your map. So in this case, I want to um, put hate value on my workability analysis so that it can have a more emphasize on my analysis. So to do that, I, I will choose fill extrusion. And then if I go back to style, now in my new layer here, I have a height selections that I can now put on my data sets. So I can go to style across data range. And here again, I will, I, I will choose zoom Z score as my data field. Here I can see that it has um, the least value and then also the, the highest value on my workability here. So the least value, I will put 10 meters. And then for the more, the highest value, I will put 20. So here you can already see that it has height value. If I go to colors, um, I want to put uh, the same gradient color based on the value of my data sets, just like how um, Arwin did it to my data sets and to do that I can go to color here and then I can click style across data range again zoom Z score and then here it has the gradient um, that you want um, to be visualized on your map so here uh, for the least value I want to be to be red and then for the highest value I will put blue color. So you can see here the least um, value of workability, it has um, a pinkish color and then 
in the middle of it, it has like a purplish color. So, and then you can see the heat value that I have put on my data set. So the as next well. thing is, um, I'm gonna add a new layer again. And here, I want to put a road um, layer into my map. So to do that, I can go to map of street V8 and then I can choose road. So here, if I go back to style, now I can see the road on top of my vocabulary analysis. Here, if I, I want to also change the color of the road, you can modify um, the color or the opacity here. But for me, I'll just leave it like this. And then the next thing is, I'm gonna um, upload the population data. So I can see here, this is the name of the data. So here, so here if I select that, it shows me the population geometry that I get from Aoi. So here, I want to add filter on the data, on the data that I will put on my map. So these filter tools, if you create, if you click create filter, and then you choose which data field you want to filter. In this case, I want to filter the residential population number. Here, so for example, if I want to display the population on my map only on the area that has a population more than 10,000, so I can put 10,000 here, click and then click use. And then here, I can select greater than or equal to. So it means that this green area here, this is um, the geometry that is going to be shown on my map. And it means that all the area that has the green value here is the population that is greater or equal to 10,000 people. So you can, you can put um, the filter based on what you want to be put on your map. You can select is less than or is greater than, and then you can also modify the number here. So if I go back to style, now I can see the, the population here. So if I drag the layer down under the output vocabulary, now I can see the vocabulary analysis and the road above my population layer. So what I'm going to do with this population layer is I'm going to also put a color gradient based on the value of the population. So if I go here and then I choose um, style across data range, I can choose resident population, estimated resident population. Here, they again, they have the value. And with the least um, value data here, I'm going to choose lightest red. And then for the highest value here, I'm going to choose darker red. So here you can see the population data is um, visualized on the map along with the road and the walkability as well as the water. If here, if you want to um, probably hide the water, you can go here and then you can click this hide one layer. So now you only have um, the road, the population and the walkability data. And also same with the walkability data, you can also put height value onto your population data. So it's the same context, the same um, way of visualizing your data. You can add whatever data sets you have as long as it has geometry attributes and as long as it's in the for format that is supported by Maple. So you can make whatever um, map you want with data that you get from Arvin or from other um, mapping tools. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, buildings here to see um, how this walkability will connect with the buildings around around here. So to do that, um, I'm going to again add new layer. And then here, I'm going to go to my box suite V8 and I'm going to choose building. So with the buildings, I also want to add 
hate value on it so i will choose fill extrusion here and then if i go back to um style now i have the height um options again and i'm gonna choose um style across the range and i'm gonna choose hate here um for the height here i'm gonna go to the maximum height and i'm gonna also fill it the same as this number so i'm gonna choose um 1500 for the maximum value so now as you can see that the buildings is extruded based on the height of the buildings in real life so the map box actually has that data set by itself so now i'm gonna change the color of the buildings so that we can clearly see um, what we have here and then also if I want to change the opacity I can go here and then I can um, set the opacity as I want it on my map so here now on the custom map that I have here I have the walkability um, analysis this is the walkable um, distance from this area and then also the value and I have the buildings with the height and also the road and also the population so now here I can um, analyze what this the combination of this data that I have on my map you can do this um, using um, any data sets that you want it can be population or places and using the same um, the same steps by putting um, by adding height value or changing the colors of um, the, your data and then also by put adding new layers and then you can also change the order of the layer which one you want to be on top and which one you want um, to be the bottom of the layer so that's it for today's video i hope this is um, gonna be useful um, for your project you can um, select you can make your own um, map using data sets you want with MacBook.